say yes, it's true. But what is the fact? We minted the first coins, and we saw, when we saw that, we said, oh, well, this is something real. You have it. Something real. And anyone that took one of these coins in his hand, he didn't let it lose. He put it in the pocket, and he kept it. <laughs> you see? So that shows you that they don't value the same the paper and the gold and the silver. So what is the result of that? The result of that is that people lose the capacity to value. When they take away, when the, when the criteria and the token of value has no value, you lose the capacity to value. So the experience is that when you have gold in your hand, you want to change this thing that is precious to you by something that is also precious to you. But when you have these papers in the pocket, you will spend it easily because there is no value in it. And human being, intrinsically in himself, he knows that there is no value in it. And if you take away already this small bit of paper with funny faces in it, and then you give one of these plastic cards that you don't realize what is in there because there's the just numbers that go up and down a line in front, they are plus or less. This is very easy to spend on that basis. You can buy plastic with this plastic. And you'll go, in fact, buy plastic with this plastic. When you were using gold, you want to change your gold by a Persian carpet by a golden watch, you see? You want to get something that it will last as the world lasts for you and doesn't, will not lose value. And your children, they will inherit it and it will be a wealth for them. And your grandchildren, they will inherit it and it will be a wealth for them. It will keep this value. Huh? So that was our experience. And the people saw it clearly. So this is very important because if you don't, if you lose the capacity of of, part of, of evaluation, you lose it also for the people who have it not. So you don't know what is what. You don't know uh, which man is, is a man of worth and which man is a worthless individual. And you will follow people that is not worth it to be followed. And you will cheat them. Yes, we are being cheated by, by, by this illusion. It is, a, it is, a, it is like a, a, a collective hypnosis. Right. People, they, they are hypnotized. Yeah. 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 They, are hypnotized. Yeah. they don't see it. They can't see it. I mean, they believe whatever they tell them. Also, we found out that this is a session, is a seeding your sovereignty to someone else. It's something very important in the, in the thick principles of Islam, which is the milk, what we call the milk. It is the, the possession of something. So what is uh, the criteria for knowing if you are possessor of something or not, is that with that thing that is yours, you can do it whatever you want. No one can tell you what you have to do with something which is yours. Okay? So that's not the case of paper money. Because paper money is not yours. You don't possess. It can take, your possession can be taken away at any time. Just changing the, the currency or declaring that currency not in use, you are finished. You don't possess your money, you don't possess your houses, you don't possess anything. So, where is your sovereignty? Anyone can strike you away of your possessions at any moment. Think that it will not happen with gold and silver. People will become sovereign. Because in Islam, you are sovereign. Allah has given you this hilafa, this is hilafa. You are, the, you are the representative of Allah in the, in the earth. Allah, he is the Malik, 
is the, is the processor of everything. But he has given you part of this quality. So some things you are the one that manages things, and you are responsible for the managing of these things. Yeah? So when they take away that, you, there are many aspects of the Sharia that you can. And the transactions are unjust, as we know. <coughs> so that the aim of the, of, uh, of the Sharia and the aim of the Deen is to rise human being and society, because Islam is not a Deen of uh, individuality and of uh, ascetism and isolation in the caves, in the mountains. So Allah said, Rukhbatiya is uh, like this, Hanabids, that they are isolated in the matrices. And this, the monasticism in Mayumba is the jihad. Huh? And what is the jihad means? The jihad is not uh, putting a, a, a bomb belt around you and flying in pieces in the air and, and killing 20,000, 20 people around you that you don't even know. And they are Muslims, most of them. Jihad is fighting to rise the word, the word of Allah. So in the, in the works of things, say the jihad is two types of jihad. Jihad it, it be safe, the ilai kalimat Allah, or jihad bin naf didda shahawat al-muharraba. So you have the jihad with a, with, a, with a sword, with a hand, to rise the word of Allah, to put it the high, as high as possible. And the jihad with your knife against your desires for the haram things. Hmm? So this is the type of jihad. But when the Sulla <coughs> after the battle, was walking next to the prisoners of the battle, and they were all uh, complaining, and they were all, uh, you know, oh, you know what, I don't know how to describe the word in English, but they were complaining, they were, they, they, they were uh, defeated, and he was walking to them, and he smiled. And then the prisoners said, Look, he claims to be a mercy for the walls and the, the Rasulullah and the best of creation. And look how he is happy of seeing us humbled and uh, with you know, the, the world here, all humiliated. And Rasulullah says, I'm here that commentary. And he turned to them and said, I am not sorry for that. I am smelling because I have to pull to you to the garden by force and you are still complaining about it. <laughs> so <laughs> this is the man, this is the Deen of Islam. The Deen of Islam and the Sharia of Islam is what will transform this base metal that we are into gold, will ennoble you, will take you to the highest of your aspirations to the highest of your possibilities, and it, it, this is the meaning of returning the gold to the pockets of the people, so that they stand by themselves, and they, are, they have the possibility to fulfill the obligations that Allah has given us, and to transform this world in a world of slaves, in, from a world of slaves to a world of free people, that they are free and that they can compile with the pillars of the Sharia and they can look what Islam has done throughout when it has been going from the very beginning. A bunch of people from the desert of Arabia, they transformed the world in 60 years and they produced the highest civilization that have ever has been in the, in the face of the earth. Allah says in the Quran, Antum khayru ummati this is the, the characteristic of the women. You, 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 you enjoy what is recognized as good, and you forbid what is blameable, and you believe in Allah, and you want you feel your fellow beings to be, to have the best life and the noblest life in this life and in the Akhirah. This is our life. This is why we are doing this. 
to transform ourselves. This is the alchemia. This is the, this is the, 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 the world, the, the world of the people of Tassalo, transforming that into both. Transforming all this, all our weak nature and our, all our worries and all our shortcomings, getting rid of, of all that and putting in your heart this love for Allah, this love for His Prophet and this love for your fellow beings and wanting the best for everyone of us. I don't want to extend myself. Sorry.